G. Who's G? Agent Ross. That's quite the distance. Okay, looks like we're going over there. Definitely not going to be uh, riding all that way. Campfire, fast travel for the win. Hey, yeah. Good, thanks. Have you fueled up your Dominator? He only takes premium oats. <laughs> All right, so Bill is finally dead. I'm kind of a bit disappointed I didn't kill him myself. I'm kind of disappointed he stole my kill. Black water. Never been here before. From what I can remember. Yeah. Pretty sure anyway. Come back between 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. Oh, it is six, 20 to 6 a.m. You were here at the start of the game. Oh, where it, the, wait. Oh, the original cutscene. Oh, yes, okay. I don't remember much about it. Let's go. Howdy there. And then I got on the train on, to Armadillo. Okay. McFarlane's ranch down here. Okay, I'm getting it. Get it. I'm at least now getting to grips with the map. That's sunset. Hey, or oh, sunrise, I guess. Since it's 6 a.m. There's definitely some beautiful moments, beautiful areas in this game, considering it's so old. Pretty impressive. Come on. So Bill's dead. The other guy who was so unimportant that I can't even remember his name I captured. Looks like we're going after Dutch now. Twenty past. Let's go. <laughs> she flew. <laughs> she flew out of the way. Wait, how much is a a humble aboard here? I wouldn't mind having a, a place here. Disappeared. Can I not buy you? 
Is it really upstairs? I thought there would have been an arrow telling me that it was upstairs if it was upstairs, but I guess not. How do I get upstairs? Ah, oh, here we go. All right, okay. This makes more sense. These cards are ready for your hand. Yes. You already own it anyway. Oh, is that why it's green instead of blue? If I always owned this. This is pretty nice. I didn't know I owned this. I'm just going to save here because I can. <laughs> you just gained access to the northern part of the map. Yeah, okay. I see. I, I wasn't even able to come here earlier. It does make sense. Just rob me, please. Can you stop him? Come on, Hossie. Howdy. Another swell day. How goes it? Howdy. Come on. West Elizabeth, more precisely. Okay. Howdy there. Howdy. I was gonna catch him and hog tie him, but I guess not. Look, you are a saint and a scholar. Here's a token of my gratitude. You're welcome. Sometimes Bruffy has the reactions of a rock. I don't know, I was kind of wanting to, you know, lasso him, but then he shot me, so I... I know what you mean, though. 101, 102, 103. I just heard Zexy shout, Why can't I shoot them? I'm here to see Mr. Ross. 107, 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. 113. 14, 115, 116. Oh, what a scumbag! 19 clockwork fish with the 17 months in a row. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Mr. Marston, I'm so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. <laughs> no one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thanks, sir. Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all of your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? 
You know, I forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. We believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has, shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay? After you, sir. Oh, everybody's a scumbag. Everybody's a scumbag. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. I've got, I've got plenty of guns for myself, go thanks. Mistake. Is there something special about that gun? Three forty-three. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Nah. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, <laughs> you're alive. Hello, West Dickens. <laughs> I thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. A long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. It's good. Ross, it's easy mode. Semi-automatic pistol. Man. Oh, is that the pistol Why? that they showed me on... Um... Because he's a harmless old fraud. The kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. The, did you uh, hear that officer? Showed the me man's online. a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. 344 345 347 Mauser was what they showed you. Was that not that? Okay. A car! Can I drive it? For the wreck of the serendipity, Mr. Fordham. If I remember correctly, this gun isn't allowed online because it's OP. Oh, it's that good. Okay. Isn't this something? Lawmakers and lawbreakers working together for the good of civilization. Like you always say, sir, the higher the stakes, the smarter you have to play the game. I can't imagine I ever said anything quite so trite. In any case, I'm not sure Mr. Marston would agree with us. Unfortunately, Mr. Marston isn't broad-minded enough to appreciate the unique opportunity we're offering him. Son of a whore. You best watch your damn mouth! And it's strange you should say that, Mr. Marston, because according to my files, you are the whore's son. Now, what else can I recall from the files? Oh, let's see. You killed hundreds of innocent people. You've robbed at least 40 banks that we're aware of. They told us there was a prize when you got to 50. I'm glad this is all such a joke to you. I want my family. And I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families too. Come now, you're stupid, but you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be. And it could be all over today. As soon as we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and play being a farmer again or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Life you will. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life. A chance at redemption. You can't erase your past, Mr. Marston. But we can. I'm guessing that's where the name comes from, eh? Red Dead Redemption. She's running well, sir. Such an elegant way to travel. What do you think of this automobile, Mr. Marston? Slow. But so convenient and reliable. Are you comfortable? No. You see this, Mr. Fordham? The brooding cowboy. There aren't many of these left, you know. 
A bit of a cliche, admittedly, but still a dying breed, like the buffalo. Just as dumb, but not quite as noble. They move most cows by rail these days, I hear. Not where I'm from, they don't. But you aren't from anywhere. A new dawn is breaking, Mr. Marston. This is the age of the machine. And soon, we'll all be living on the moon. Maybe. This is the future. Anything is possible. Finally, this godforsaken land is entering the 20th century. Prosperity has arrived. In the form of assholes like you. It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for totally years. Totally want to drive this we car. We informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. I wonder how people will sort of take John Marston's right, character go, Marston. in uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Because it seems like he was a uh, bit of a bad guy back in the day. In the prequel. Why are you wasting my time? The prequel probably is going to show that bad character that he has. I'm also surprised that that car hasn't made its way into GTA Online yet. As a promotional thing for Red Dead Redemption. Quiet. <laughs> Stay close. Yes, sir. And only 100 years later we got flying DeLoreans and rocket bikes. Get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, John Marston has clearly changed from his past and he's got some morals and he's a smart guy, but... When he was running with the gang, it didn't seem like it. Or at least from the stories. Seems real quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with lowlifes. He's gonna die. He is so gonna die. Did you hear that? Go see what's happening up there. I'll wait here. Oh yeah, fine. Thank you for continuing your gift, Silver Warden. Take out the new gun. Okay. High power pistol. Let's see what this is like. Uh, do I need to go? Where do I need to go? Not down there. Okay, I'm lost. I get I get lost on boats very easily. Oh, I need to be back there, okay. Why did I go through here? <laughs> I I get lost on, on the yachts and stuff and, and boats in general in GTA as well. This was their first attempt at the yacht. <laughs> God, that's her informant. Nasus, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap. Shit, Marston, you'll have to carry this man. I don't think you can walk. Let's hope that poor yes. man is not in need of immediate help. Come on, we need to get him to safety. Holy shit. Okay, this gun is, is yeah, not too bad. <laughs> There's one of them. Aquarius classic. <laughs> what add-ons can you get for this? There ain't a man amongst you can take me. Now let's go. We need to get the hell off this boat. You'll die a coward, you bastard. This is your last 
chance to surrender. Sneaking one is mine. This way. You won't get away with this. Oh my god! Can you just die? <laughs> Rockstar not putting weapons online because they're too OP. I know, yeah, can you imagine? They didn't put this gun online because it's it's too it's too good. Come on, follow me. That was a different rock star. <laughs> a very, very different rock star. Apparently it is online, I was mistaken. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Never mind. Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go, there might be more of them. I totally want to drive this car. Trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh yes, he <laughs> does, sir. He's the informant, not this. <laughs> Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws, especially when one of them's an office clerk. Or social secretary or some such. You shut your mouth! Would a horse with a Gatling gun on it be considered a technical classic? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> what would this be called? Kar Karuma, the the Karuma ancient or something. Come on, not now. What's wrong? I don't know. The motor just gave Since out. Since the Karuma well, was the original you vehicle that you drive in GTA 3. Of course, sir. All Roosevelt. That's not a bad. Yeah, Roosevelt retro classic custom. <laughs> Don't use dead eye enough. I'm not in a good position here. I know it already. I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. So reliable. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater.
Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You'll make me blush with all these kind words. So much for this automobile of yours. If this is the future, God help us all. It's not the automobile. A bad workman shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse. I was trying to escape an ambush, sir. Even if it was running fine, they'd still have caught us. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. Give me a horse any day. So what now? Do I get to see my family? Where is Dutch Vanderland? I don't know. In that case, old boy, no, you don't get to see your family. It's a fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston, even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. If you'd like me to explain it to you again, I'd be more than willing. No, you've said enough. We'll find Vanderlyn soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. So how does it feel, taking a man's wife and child from him? Does it make you feel good? How does it feel to kill hundreds of men in cold blood? You're a coward. You're a murderer. Actions have consequences, Mr. Marston. Come now, try to look on the bright side. The bright side? There ain't no bright side. Your family is enjoying a much-needed vacation and in far more luxurious surroundings than those to which they are accustomed, I assure you. Soon you will be able to start a new life together absolved of all your sins. I can think of far more upsetting alternatives. We should take the ending to Professor McDougal, see what he can get out of them. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. Here we are. Thank God for that. So... This is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed, but he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross, uh, Mr. Fordham? G good day, G good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg, <sighs> beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor now. McDougal, mm -hmm. we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good fellow. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. Oh, he appeared out of nowhere and then disappeared. Good times. Ghost. Wild West ghost. Interesting. Hello. I just came into this guy's room, hotel room, randomly. Oh, what a scumbag. Sorry, buddy. I don't know why. I was just curious. <laughs> Dusk, with the seven months in a row, rule number one about working with the US government, never trust the US government. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that. Again, it's, it's all run around, do this, do that, just so you can get... It's all to try and get my family back, to redeem my past sins, but I have to get so much done in between to get to where I need to be. Incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day, good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. With these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. Ah, <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. 
Unfortunate. Uh, 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 you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but 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 with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Ah, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you, <laughs> sir, this sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? <laughs> I've got enough for two. Not right this minute, no. Jesus. It's a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. It takes one back to a primal state. It helps my thinking enormously. Oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? I know. We cannot see the stars, but still my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. No, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills. In Cochinay. Let's go. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. This guy is quite the character. <laughs> Time to do our bit for humanity, Mr. Marston. Follow me! So, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderlyn? You gonna kill him too? Easy. Kill him? Good God, no! What is it with you people out here? No, Vanderlyn fascinates me. A white man living among natives. A civilized mind turned savage. It's reverse integration or regressive acculturation. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. <sighs> but anyway, yes, as some kind of Robin Hood, Oedipus, communist, tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang together, Professor. I wouldn't try to read too much into it. It's my job to read too much into everything, dear boy. Look, Mr. Marston, Buffalo. Oh, what a noble beast. I see him. The white man will soon be the end of them. What on earth are you talking about, Nastas? Too much hunting, sir. Your whole society is based around hunting. But we hunt to eat, not for sport. Soon, there will be no buffalo left. Who teaches you this nonsense? Extinction is a myth refuted by Darwin. Species don't die, they evolve. Hunting in time will make the buffalo stronger. Such weird, such, such outdated views back in those days, of course. These trees are quite foreboding, <laughs> Nastas. Are, are you sure this is the right way? Yes, sir. It's There's an achievement dark. for killing all buffalo in the game. There's a finite before. number. Oh, really? Wow, that's pretty cool. Explorer. It's this way, mister. Did not know that. Good lord, no. I rarely leave my room. I explore with the mind, Mr. Master. Enjoy it while you still can. Soon you will have cut down all of these trees. Me? Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white man in general? There is no respect. Feels like a lot earlier than 1911. I'm sensing yeah, kind of. But I guess it shows how far the world has come in a hundred years. Emotion, where it's coming from. Don't worry about it, Professor. Is this snow? 
wasn't expecting to see this. There's no shortage of outdated views even today. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> That's true. Snow way indeed. Christmas already. There's the cliff. We'll leave the horses here and climb the rest of the way. much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I, I've got work to do. Thanks for the help. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Came all this way and then Come he's just going to go back. I see a spot where we can climb up. Damn indeed. See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. <sighs> Fine. Fine. We need G Fed and Red Dead online. I mean, I'm not sure about that. Would it be quite the same? We can always give it a go. Bunny! Hey, bunny! <laughs> this is how they did the chili ad portion of G Fred back in the day. <laughs> yes. I think there's a path through this cave. Yeah, we're definitely far up north. It's pretty cool, the map of Red Dead. Like, it just keeps bringing surprises. Yes, look at this, a mine shaft. This seems ominous. Yeah, Snow Fred indeed. Totally a trap of some description. Oh, 
I'm hurt pretty bad. I don't think you should go any further. I'll be fine. But you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up or see you on the way down. Stupid miners. Don't worry about me. Go look for Vanderlyn. Good luck. All right. Where we go? Uh, this doesn't look safe. It wasn't. <laughs> oh, over there, that's where I need to go. That makes more sense. I also wouldn't be surprised if the Deluxo is in Red Dead Redemption. Or at least Red Dead Online. <laughs> I hear noises. Um, that's a bear. Um, it's okay. I'll just, I'll just back away. You can, you can keep that. No, 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 no. Reason with it. I need to reason with it. It's okay, but it's okay, bear. I don't want to be through there. It's fine. Um. I'm gonna have to shoot it. Run! No, I couldn't run. <laughs> okay. Don't I failed. worry about me. <laughs> Go look for Vanderlyn. Good luck. <laughs> Stupid bear. When was, uh, when was Back to the Future 3? What year did they go back to? I can't remember now. It was 18 something, but didn't it have a relation to the year that they were in at the time? 18, oh, 1885, of course. So it's not beyond the realms of possibility that they could just put a deluxe or in a cave somewhere with a cover over it. <laughs> as long as they don't make it usable, <laughs> I'm okay with them having an Easter egg. Okay, so the the um the dangers here are not so much people but other animals. Oh, 
Oh, eagle. Who's this dude? Just like strangle him or something. Nice and easy. Nice and slow. Throwing knives. Yes, good strategy. I am so frustrated. I am so frustrated. <laughs> Damn it. Throwing knives was a good idea and I ruined it because I didn't realize it would take more than one. I'm so bad. I'm so bad at this game. I'm so bad at games in general, to be fair. <laughs> Music's really good in this game. He's dead. Oh. What? Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston. Did we just get wrecked? Was that Here Dutch? Go, Mr. Marston. Shit. Put that stuff away. You banged your head. Nastus and I carried you down. Mm. Uh, well, uh, Nastus uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends okay. of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters. Before, this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. Well, sure, it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, you are a very stupid man, mister. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Uh, then again... <laughs> <laughs> Idiots. Okay. Interesting. Let's go see what these guys want. I better have to come back between 7 and 10 as well. What time is it? Oh, I should save. Hey, dog. Watch a movie, yeah? Huh? 
What's the rush there? You look like a blackjack player. A handsome blackjack player. Yes. A handsome blackjack player. Not just any blackjack player, a handsome one. You should come and play. <laughs> Howdy, GTA wise guy. How's it going? It's only five. God damn it. Sorry. I need to save again. <laughs> I've seen Bruff playing backjack in real life. You have, MB Hammer. Not for very long. <laughs> All right, now let's go see what Slow it down, will you? scumbags want. You're so rough with these poor people. Well, you know, they need to get out of my way. What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informer just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fellow? This way. It feels like everybody is against Let's us get in this. Roof. We'll have a clear shot at them from there. There's just no... nobody... who isn't being a scumbag. door is the only way in and out of the building so cover it tight Do you see those horses to the left by the building across the street dutch's boys hitch them oh yeah have bonnie to run that way to make their escape good old bonnie don't start McFarlane. shooting until they're out in the open if we spook them they might retreat back and hole up inside don't shoot till i give you the signal keep your sights trained on that bank door john's not a scumbag he clearly was but don't shoot till i give you the signal Someone's coming out. He's unarmed. Hold your fire. They shot him dead. They're coming out. Gun them down. Take out those snipers in the window. Innocent people there. Yeah, like he's gonna be there. I already know. We can take him. Come on, down. let's get in there. Follow me. Marston, shoot the door open. Move in. Keep an eye out for civilians. Help me! Please! You're dead, you son of a coyote. Last chance, you sons of bitches! Please! I ain't gonna tell you again! Good work! 
Dutch ain't down here. He's got to be hiding upstairs somewhere. John. Oh, he is Hello, here. Dutch. Okay. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. Ain't seen her for a while. Cause you've been chasing me. Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No. Oh, he must be what? Fifteen? Sixteen? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint. But equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch. By making compromises, we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. Oh! God damn! Scum! I don't see him! What the hell happened in there? This is your fault, Marston! You, you shut up, you scum. scum. I didn't see you, you doing anything. Too long. Next time, I'll just shoot the girl. That's enough. Come on, let's find the bastard. Get on your horses. I just saw Dutch make a run for it. Yeah, Abraham. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what happened in there? We saw Vanderlyn escaping from some men. He stole off with the bank manager in an automobile. Let's just say, Dutch ain't gone and got himself saved. He killed some poor woman. There's an old logging camp further down this road. It's been abandoned for years. My guess is that's where they're headed. Come on, follow me. Yeah, there was some very good dialogue in that scene, you're right. What a role model! The man who made you who you are. I guess so. Has he changed? No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? Did he hug on your heartstrings? It kind of reminds me of you. Violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. Isn't that sweet of you? And now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah! I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. Dutch is a bit of a scumbag. Who the hell are you fellas anyway? Ball men or army? We are neither, Mr. Marston, but I have the authority over both. Look, that's Dutch's car. Hurry, we can't have got far. Come on, you worn out there. Come on. Oh, they do kill you. What? What? Talk even when I don't do anything.
know why I'm staying on my horse. I just felt like it was a decent strategy. game okay <laughs> Nelson's tagline <laughs> kind of running out of uh, board action bullets where's Dutch Marston he got away uh, scared to shoot him too much to handle when the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him, don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably get a medal. I know I shall. <sighs> okay. Where even are we in the great scheme of the map? Okay. So this was the first bit that we were, were. Then we did our Mexico. And now we've unlocked this corner up here. 